Hello folks, today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Microtech CRS317 10 gigabit switch. Comes in a plain uh, brown box, nothing fancy. Here we have two power cords and the reason for two is because this thing actually has uh, a redundant uh, power supply. We have two rack mount bracket ears, got a bag of accessories, got some screws, Microtech sticker, and uh, some feet for the switch if uh, you're planning to use this on the desktop. Have a quick start guide here. Talks about how to power it on, the boot process, configuration, buttons and jumpers, operating system support, that kind of stuff. In, uh, in a later video, we'll uh, talk about getting this guy set up and booted. And it's actually, there's two boot options. There's a, there's a, uh, a layer three uh, OS and, and a layer two OS is just does uh, layer two uh, switching. switch out the side here so we have um, 16 SFP plus ports each one has a little dust cap which is kind of nice not all vendors uh, actually provide that for the SFP ports I actually like it when they do we've got a console port and a uh, Ethernet boot port and I believe that's for uh, if you want to do the setup um, with an Ethernet cord, um, you can plug that in and, and get it set up uh, over the network that way. And I believe this console ports a, it's an RJ45 jack, but probably to uh, a serial console. Um, we've got four, let's see, four LED lights here. Uh, two blue ones, it looks like, for the power supplies. I guess to indicate uh, when they're functional. Uh, we've got a red LED for uh, when it to indicate if there's a fault with the system. And, uh, and a green USR. Not sure what that means, but uh, I guess we'll find out when we boot this, boot this guy up uh, in a follow-on video. And uh, a system reset button. I guess if, uh, if you ever forget your password or, or uh, need to completely reset the device you can do that let's turn it around we have the uh, two inlets for the power supplies the dual power supplies and uh, a little uh, latch to hold the power cord in so that it doesn't ac accidentally get uh, pulled out which is kind of nice you don't see that often in in a lot of uh, switches we got two fan outlets and uh, although this system is supposed to run uh, silently um, due to the massive uh, heat sink you see there, that does most of the job of cooling it. And uh, when it reaches a certain threshold temperature, uh, the fans will then kick in to uh, help out with the cooling. So that's actually one of the main reasons I, I, I wanted to check out this switch. Um, I wanted something that was 10 gigabit, but also um, silent. So I'm hoping that uh, that massive heatsink there will will do its job and, and I won't be hearing those fans very often. Okay, let's turn this upside down. Um, nothing much on the bottom. We've got little indents for the, the foot pads. Uh, again, if you're putting this on a desktop, you can put these guys on there. Um, they give you six, you only need four. I guess there's two spares, which is kind of nice in case they fall off. And, uh, and a sticker here with the MAC addresses um, and the product model number. Okay, so that's it for the unboxing. In a follow-on video, like I said, we'll uh, cover the initial setup um, and 
look into the two different operating systems that I can boot for the layer three functions or the just the layer two switching. And, uh, and we'll look into the configuration of some of the functions and features of that. All right, let me know what you think, guys. Thank you.